everyone hi how are you i missed you guys i hope this video finds you well today i'm going to do the third part of my surgery experience experience <laughs> and i'm going to share a little bit more of my story with you guys if you guys don't want to hear my story please now is the time to exit this video but subscribe first because i'm posting makeup and beauty videos related so i would love to have you around anyway so if you guys want to hear my story let's get into it i love long nails these are not mine by the way they're like pressed on easy to do and quick and looks cute from far <laughs> So, as I mentioned in my previous part, um, it was the next day after my surgery, then I got to see my doctor, he explained me the size and everything, and he also told me that he didn't put drainage, because I didn't bleed too much on the surgery table, so that's that. I think I forgot to share that in my previous video. Mm. This is so hot. So that's that. That's very important to keep in mind because because of that little fact, I had issues with my right one. So yeah, we got home the day after my surgery. I went home with those bandage on bandage, bandage, bandage. What? Bandage. Oh my God, why does it sound weird? <laughs> So I had the bandage on, I couldn't see my tatas right after my surgery. So it was Sunday when we got home, Monday and then Thursday, <laughs> Thursday, Tuesday. Oh my goodness, I can't walk. I can't walk. Tuesday, I had my appointment with the assistant. I didn't saw my surgeon that day i just went there to take off the bandage uh, also i had some skin like tapes over my incisions and she also changed them she put some new ones and she applied some betadine betadine on top of those and she told me that i had to apply betadine once a day at home as well where my incisions are and on top of that little skin like tape and uh, this one was very bruised i'm not even joking very bruised like my right one and she also prescribed me um a cream for hematomes because that's what she named it hematomes and uh i had to apply that cream at home twice a day as well she put on the surgery bra because she told me that i need support so i wanted to show you guys the situation this is the bra they recommend me to wear for like <laughs> six months or so because it's very supportive it holds the girls in place and is very tight who i'm running out of breath by the way, it's been like nine days since I got my surgery. So nine days in and I can do this type of movement. Like I can reach my scalp. I can wash my face. I can apply makeup if I want to. So as you can see for now, I'm doing great, which I'm super grateful. Like you have no idea how good it feels to be able to wash your own body by yourself like my armpits and stuff i know it's not that deep but it is to me so i feel super ac accomplished today oh my goodness it feels hella good okay so uh, what else i wanted to tell you guys oh i have a lot of bruises 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 on this side like this boob is black under here this one looks okay so i'm still wearing the surgery bra it's very very comfortable i'm not gonna lie i sleep with it i wear it 24 hours a day and it feels so comfortable at first it was tight on me because i was so bloated because of the anesthesia and let me tell you how many side effects i had from the anesthesia oh my goodness 
insane insane so at first it was tight on me because i was very bloated around my stomach around my ribs all that i was very bloated i am still bloated okay also i have my period now so that could be another reason why i'm bloated <laughs> anyway so the next week i had my appointment with my surgeon because he had to see me after surgery and all that stuff he told me again like he kind of confirmed what the assistant said that i have a lot of hematomes on the right one the left one looked pretty good it was bruised but not as crazy as this one so he told me to continue with the cream for the hematomes also to continue applying that betamine on my incisions they took off my um, skin like tape so this time i had to apply like a week after my surgery so this time i had to apply the betadine right on top of my incisions my eye is twitching <laughs> In the first month, I got checked by my surgeon every single week and I feel like that's a good thing. So the third week I went to see him, he told me that I need to take uh, antibiotics because he thought I have infection in there. That's why the hematomes didn't go away fast and uh, I didn't have any pains, but it was annoying because this one looked very beat up. Like after three weeks from my surgery, this one looked pretty good. Scars started to heal. Everything looked kind of normal, like after three weeks from the surgery. But this one, it was straight beat up, like someone punched him right in the eye very bad very bad uh also in the first month i couldn't shower myself like obviously i could wash myself but uh they told me to not put water around my incisions so in the first month i couldn't take a shower like a normal person i had to wash myself in like small sections you know like my armpits it was a little bit awkward to do them then i had to wash my body from my belly above anyway so yeah it was a little bit of struggle then a month and a week probably uh she told me to stop applying the vitamin because the scarring was looking very good i mean they were healing but i still had to apply the hematome cream and also they give me the scarring cream to apply on my scars so they heal faster and this is the scarring cream that I am using right now. I haven't heard of this brand before. This is for like clinics only. Let me know if you know of a scarring cream that works very good because I'm open. I don't know if this does anything. It has vitamin E and I know that's good for scarring, but also I know that rose hip is good for scarring, aloe vera, and a lot of more stuff like this. And they assumed that in like two or three weeks, I should start doing my massages. I had four appointments for the massage. It was like 10 minutes tatas massage. And this was included in the price that I already paid. Jesus. So, um, yeah i started with my massages like at one month and a half around that time yeah i did took the antibiotics for the infection i don't know if it was an infection or not and then i asked them to make an echo to be very sure that there's nothing in there and at the echo everything looked normal like the implant and stuff it looked normal it just uh, you could see like the little blood vessels in there, like the little hematomes, because that's what they told me they are. Hematomes are like dried uh, blood. I don't know exactly. The blood that's supposed to go away after my surgery, it stayed in there. I don't want to say that it was my surgeon mistake or whoever mistake it was, but I feel like he, like uh, right after he told me I have hematomes, he should have intervened again to clean everything around that area and to start fresh but he didn't do that obviously i'm not educated in hematomes and tatas and whatever but i've seen like i do follow other surgeons and recently i saw that 
someone had the same issue as me and the surgeon immediately intervened and cleaned the area and uh, put that back in. So after I finished taking those pills, I went and I talked again with my surgeon. He wasn't happy that didn't work how he thought. And then he told me uh, to start doing the massages because that will help to drain the area and to help the body to eliminate those little blood vessels faster and obviously that didn't work either so look at me one month and a half after my surgery with one boob looking good and the other one looking i don't want to say botched but almost you feel me so i was feeling very stressed anxiety was present every single day i kind of went on this depression road and it didn't felt good because it was messing with my head a lot so i didn't know what to think at this point i was pretty stressed as i said so i started to look online for people that had similar issues as me but i couldn't find much because i feel like people don't want to be open with this stuff like yeah i got my boobs done but something went wrong and i want to tell you what went wrong probably you relate with this situation you know like probably you experience the same thing and nobody wants to share this ugly part of the plastic surgery you know what i mean of their experience but then there's me being very open about this stuff after i finished those four sessions of massages he recommended me to take another pack because that will help me uh, with the drainage so that's what i did i still have three sessions left but i feel like it's not doing much because uh, i had my appointment the other day with my surgeon and i told him i'm very worried i don't know what to think he doesn't talk to me like my previous session with him it was three minutes when he told me to like when he recommended me to get another pack of massages and i was like hello i have so many questions what the hell he told me well i will see you next month bitch no what do i do with this head that overthinks everything like help me to understand my situation he didn't explain me anything basically yeah that happened last month and now yesterday i went for my monthly checking with my surgeon and let me tell you he didn't like he expected those massages to help me to make it look normal or i don't know what he expected i don't know i don't know what to make out of this like the vertical scar is not looking good i'm going to have all the information on the screen because i don't know exactly how to explain it right now um so it's called fibro fibrosis fibrosis something around those lines so the scar is very hard and usually this happens when there are hematomes around the scar so that's exactly what happened to me i have this hard scar like the vertical one so now i have to make some um, injections with monodioxide whatever i don't know with a chemical gas to dissolve the scarring because it's hard so i have like 10 sessions with this treatment to dissolve the scar i think he told me like after doing this 10 section sessions not sections, sessions of um, dioxide, monodioxide, whatever this is called. We have to wait six months, but wait, there's more. So after those six months will pass, I have to go under Anastasia once again, because obviously something went wrong and he has to do more work on this side. And when I tell you, I was like in shock everything got super light super bright in front of my eyes and i couldn't think because i didn't ask him anything about this because i was in shock i was in shock he only 
told me like he didn't give me any details about this he only told me that he needs to do some fat transfer on this boob because because of those little injections will be a little bit smaller because it will shrink i don't know the science behind this but he will need to do some fat transfer on this one to make it look even to this one and basically that's it <sighs> am i ready for this absolutely not have i have i signed for this absolutely not he told me wait a second he i asked him like why this happened like why it happened this and he looked kind of suspicious at me because i mean i kind of get it my question sounded a little bit i don't want to say offensive but like i was blaming him for this and obviously it's his fault because i didn't do this right so he didn't took it very well and he told me oh uh if you uh have read the contract it also says that this could happen okay so read the contract read the motherfucker contract okay this could happen not this will happen okay anyway i'm looking forward for this to be done already because it's very frustrating so i guess that's it uh obviously i'm going to keep you guys updated like my series about my surgery doesn't end here but i don't have any updates i'm starting to get the injections next week so i guess i'm going to see you guys in a month or so to let you know how those injections for my surgery work and if it works oh my goodness i'm praying to god and to the universe it will work because lord have mercy so that's it for now i don't have any other updates please let me know down below if you have any questions like any stories from friends family relatives whatever let me know if you guys know anyone who experienced what i'm experiencing right now because it feels good knowing that i'm not the only one experiencing this for sure i'm not the only one but as i said people don't like to talk about this stuff because you know i mean i don't know what's the reason i said i'm going to share my story and this is exactly what i'm doing everything would have gone uh, very good from the beginning and i wouldn't be here now like i would i would be like healing so happy with the results but that's not the case for now okay i'm looking forward for that good results and everything to be done in like six months or so or maybe a little bit longer but yeah this is my story this is my experience i'm sharing my experience i want you to know everything so that's that anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this video please subscribe if you haven't already take care stay positive i'm trying to stay as positive as possible because i don't know i have hope okay i have hope everything is gonna be all right everything is gonna look beautiful and i'm going to be so happy with my results I'm trying to stay positive okay so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed please subscribe if you haven't already take care and i will see you in my next one bye guys